I'm glad to be back here and uh, back here with the Doyles. This farm um, has been in their family for generations. I met the seventh generation this morning um, who hopefully will continue to work um, and live on this farm. Uh, and that's what this morning is in part all about. It's about trying to preserve a certain quality of life in a state that also has valued uh, its ability to develop and to develop new residents, new businesses, but trying to find the balance um, between having open space in our state and preserving a certain quality and way of life for the garden state, but also um, finding that balance with continuing to have economic growth and development in a state where people need jobs uh, and we need to continue to grow the size and the scope of our economy. So today we're out here um, at this farm in Hillsborough in the middle of Somerset County, in a county that has a tradition of open space and green acre support, not only from the state, but from their freeholders and from their local municipal officials. Um, all of that uh, are two, there are two examples rather of the 650,000 acres of land that's been preserved through this program um, over the last 50 years. And I'm happy now to be one of the governors who is a part of that great tradition. The three bills that I signed today continue this tradition with $157 million for preservation projects in all 21 counties across New Jersey, including the Highlands, the Barnegat Bay watershed, urban waterfronts, as I said before, farms like this, uh, and other worthy projects across the state. It's important to note also that this is again an example of bipartisan cooperation in New Jersey. You see here today both Republican and Democratic legislators. The preserving of our quality of life is not a Republican or a Democratic issue. It's a New Jersey issue. And so folks from both sides of the aisle have sponsored this legislation, voted for this legislation, and helped us in the implementation of these programs by targeting for us worthy projects throughout the state in every one of the 21 counties. And so I think it's important to, to take a moment again today, especially in light of all the things that we see going on in Washington, D.C., and the lack of, of cooperation among many of the folks who sit in Congress. The most important thing that I emphasize today is, again, that there are lots of things that we need to get done in this state. And the only way to get it done is for all of us, one, to firmly set out the positions and our priorities, what we believe in, so the public understands what we believe as elected leaders are important and what we're willing to fight for. And then once you lay that out, to then go back to your colleagues in the legislature and in the agencies and work together to find common ground to be able to implement those principles. Won't mean, as I've said before, that I'll get everything I want. I certainly haven't over the first 18 months I've been governor, but we've gotten a lot done for the people of the state. Both parties working together, finding common ground. You now, it doesn't mean we won't argue at times. We will, and we should. We should, we should have arguments in public about important public issues, and we should stake out our positions. But that useful argument is only part of the democratic process. The next part of the democratic process after the argument is get something done. And that's what we're trying to do here in New Jersey every day. That's what our administration has been about, recognizing that we preside over a divided government, but understanding that we don't preside over a divided people. And that's a big difference.